What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury, of course, bumped into Alexander Usyk at the Arthur Benavidez fight and Alexander uh, Vosnik fight on Saturday night. Tyson Fury sized up Usyk. He did it in a friendly way. He did it in a way that it was more like a greet, but then he was also sizing him up in a friendly like manner. That's one of those friendly, subtle like you're 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 talking shit, but you're not doing it in a disrespectful way. You know, he kind of leaned down and looked at him. Stand up. Let me see how tall you are. You know, in, insinuating that he's small, in other words. And one thing I notice about uh, Usyk and people, I, I don't, I haven't heard anyone say this, but. Usyk took that well. Again, Tyson Fury did not come off like brash or shit talk. You're a bum. You're a dosser. You're a cruiserweight. Blown up cruiserweight. Like he said, Deontay Wilder. He didn't say any of that. And it, 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 it was amazing to see Alexander Usyk take it because he was just like tripped out. You know what I mean? He was tripped out. He accepted the greet. He accepted the, the gesture of him leaning down, like sizing him up to see how how much taller than he was than Usyk, insinuating that he's small. But Usyk was just laughed that shit off. But it was funny because Usyk got up to shake his hand, right? So Usyk was like, you know, laughing, you know, laughing with Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? Um, there's a saying, you know, instead of somebody laughing with you, you laugh I was laughing at you. You laugh with them, you know, and to, to take that, uh, that humorous element out of that or that degrading element out of that or whatnot. But Tyson Fury was trying to make it noticeable that, hey, I'm a lot taller than you. Let me bend down to your level because you are shorter than I am. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Like a lot of people said, like, hey, Tyson Fury said, I will beat him with one hand tied behind my back. Excuse me. He said that about Andy Ruiz too. So I'm pretty sure that got back to Usyk. But one thing, like I was going to tell you guys, that benefits Usyk more than the most, and a lot of people don't think about it, is his mental toughness. Now, when you say mental toughness, I'm not just talking about strategies and things that you can do. Uh, and techniques in the ring that makes you think like, okay, he's going to do this. Let me counter with this because I know he kind of drops the left hand. doesn't have anything to do with that a lot of cases. It has everything to do with your timing, your 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 own self-humor, your uh, your skin. Your skin can't be all thin. It got to be pretty damn thick to be in the, 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 the sport of hard knocks. And he took it well. But then again, you look at Usyk, that's one of his strong points. Have you ever seen Usyk get out of his element? You see what I mean? You've never seen that coming from Usyk. He's always pretty much himself, joking, uh, uh, doing gags, right? Messing with people in a humorous type of way, you know? But I also believe that Tyson Fury, you know, made a beeline to him simply because he, okay, there's, there's the guy. So if anything, if Tyson Fury comes up to Alexander Usyk, sizes him up, wishes him well, then splits the scene, what does that tell you? That tells you that that respect is is is, is molding in. Okay, it's filling into the heavyweight division for Alexander Usyk. I think that was more like a embrace or a uh, a meeting uh, for respect and acknowledgement to this level. Because if he didn't. If he wasn't a threat or if he wasn't a heavyweight opponent, he probably wouldn't even said anything to him. But because Usyk is now a heavyweight opponent, now everyone's like, oh, okay. I get it. <clears throat> so, you know, this is the guy that's supposed to take on all the other guys in the division. So I do need to make my presence known against him. I also need to show him, hey, I'm taller than you. Right? You're shorter. But besides that, it was pretty friendly. It wasn't really much to it. Um, however, I did see Usyk. When he sat down, he was like this. You know, he kept watching him like, you know, them fucking uh, Rudger Hauer-like eyes he got. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> he looks like Alexander Usyk reminds me of Rudger Hauer in the first uh, Blade Runner. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, you know, he because he has this look like he looks like a fucking killer. Like, dude, I would. He has those murder eyes. You know. But then you look at him, you know, the things he does, he carries himself like this dude here is just off the chain, you know, he's a gagster. So, you know, and that's one thing. I don't see people pissing Usyk off. I see, you know, he's, he doesn't have that type of humor. I think that Usyk does disarm people with his humor. Since him being humorous, he knows how to make you relax. Like Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew really couldn't even fucking get serious with Usyk because Usyk was doing certain things that uh, caused them to laugh. Like they were doing interviews. Fucking Usyk is like behind the cu the, the uh, you know, the cubicle, you know, making like making shit like just just joking off, man, messing off. That's who you're dealing with. But when you get in the ring with him, he's a savage killer. So you know, me now looking at Tyson Fury versus Usyk. Now that fight could also be very, very possible. Let's say, let's say Fury just outbox uh, Wilder. That's all he has to do is outbox him. Deontay Wilder can't outbox Fury. So if Fury can make Deontay fight his game plan without getting hit with that right hand, he could win the victory easy. He could have won it last time if it was minus the knockdown. So they say, so they say, right? So, I think Usyk is welcomed here, and he's welcomed by one of the best in the division. I think that's what that was about. I also think that was about possible future opponents knowing, hey, let me drop this seed in the ground because we don't know what will sprout. We don't know how good the weather would be. We don't know if we get rain. We don't know if we get sunlight. But the seed is planted, and that's exactly what Tyson Fury did today. He walked up to Alexander Usyk because he wanted to size him up. He wanted to know what he looked like, how tall he was. He did that all in that second, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, that's my counterpunch on Tyson Fury uh, sizing up Alexander Usyk. Tell me what you guys think. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.